Genesis chapter 9. And God blessed Noah and his sons and said unto them, Be fruitful and multiply and replenish the earth. And the fear of you and the dread of you shall be upon every beast of the earth and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moveth upon the earth and upon all the fishes of the sea. Into your hand are they delivered. Every moving thing and that liveth shall be meat for you. Even as the green herb I have given you all things, but flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, ye shall not eat. And surely your blood of your lives will I require at the hand of every beast will I require it and at the hand of man at the hand of every man's brother will I require the life of man whoso sheddeth man's blood by man shall his blood be shed. For the image of God made he man. And you be ye fruitful and multiply, bring forth abundantly in the earth and multiply therein. And God spake unto Noah, and his and to his sons with him saying and i behold i establish my covenant with you and with your seed after you and with every living creature that is with you of the fowl of the cattle and of every beast of the earth with you, from all that go out of the ark, and every beast of the earth. And I will establish my covenant with you, neither shall all flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood, neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. And I will establish my covenant with you. Neither shall all the flesh be cut off any more by the waters of a flood. Neither shall there any more be a flood to destroy the earth. And God said, this is a token of the covenant in which I make between me and you and every living creature that is with you for perpetual generations. I do set my bow in the cloud and it shall be for a token of covenant between me and the earth and I and it shall come to pass when I bring a cloud over the earth that the bow shall be seen in the cloud and I will remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh and the waters shall no more become a flood to destroy all flesh and the bow shall be in the cloud and I will look upon it 
that I may remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all the flesh that is upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, This is a token of covenant, which I have established between me and all flesh that is upon the earth. And the sons of Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Jabath. And Ham is the father of Cana, Canaan. These are the three sons of Noah. And of them was the whole earth spread, overspread. And Noah began to be a husband man, and he planted a vineyard. And he drank of the wine and was drunken, and he was uncovered with his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the, the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without. And Sham and Jabath took a garment and laid it upon both of their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father and their faces were backward and they saw not their father's nakedness and Noah wo awoke from his wine and knew what this younger son had done unto him and he said cursed be Can Cana Canaan a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. And God shall enlarge Jabath, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. And Noah lived after the flood 350 years. And all the days of Noah were 950 years. And he died. 